YouTube, how's it going? We're back with another PC tip video and in this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to clear a ton of space on your Windows 10 PC. This will work for SSDs or HDDs or M.2s. If this video helps you out at all, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And there's gonna be a lot of methods in this video, so be sure to stick around until the end. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in, right after this. All right, so the first method that we're gonna go ahead and talk about is disk cleanup. This is the utility that's actually built into Windows, but this people don't really know about it. So you're gonna go down to the search bar, you're gonna type in disk, and disk cleanup should pop up right here. So then you're gonna select the drive that you actually wanna go ahead and clean. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select my C drive for this one and hit OK. After you hit OK, this dialog box will pop open. Once this dialog box pops open, it's gonna have a bunch of items that you can go ahead and check mark and choose to clear. For instance, a lot of people forget to clear their recycling bin and this is a pretty simple way to do it. I always just go ahead and clean, pick all of them and I hit okay. It'll say, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Delete files. Then this will take a couple minutes to load. I'm going to skip to the end of it and then nothing will happen. The dialog box will just disappear but those files that you selected are now permanently deleted. All right, method two is by turning on storage sense. What exactly is that? Well, let's go to it first and then talk about it. So if you type in storage settings, You'll see this box up here at the top. Most people, I think by default, actually this is off, but it says storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycling bins. So essentially storage sense is just going through your computer and seeing if you have any unnecessary files, such as temp files, and it's going into your recycling bin as well and deleting all those items from there. So it's very similar to disk cleanup, except that this will do it automatically but I would ensure to also do disk cleanup because storage sense won't get everything. So what I do for storage sense is actually hit on and you can actually configure it to run however you want. So you can actually have it run every week. You can have it run every day. Ensure that deletes temporary files, ensures that it goes into recycle bin every so often. And I'll actually look at OneDrive. So let's go ahead and configure this to your liking, but just ensure that storage sense is on to some capacity. All right, guys, the next method is gonna be using the run dialog box to delete temp files and various app data files. So the first way we're gonna do this is hit Windows, the Windows key and R at the same time. Then the run dialog box is gonna pop up. And the first thing we're gonna type in is just temp, T-E-M-P. Whenever this pops up, your file explorer is gonna to open to a temp folder. And all these folders in here all these files in here, most of them you should not need. So actually what I do is just either hit select all, or if you don't have this option up here, just hit control A, and then I hit delete. Or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. Remove these items to the recycling bin, yes. And then you will get this instance sometimes of these files cannot uh, be deleted. I always just hit the checkbox and say do this for all items, and I just hit skip. It's not really necessary going through the trouble of trying to figure out why one certain file won't delete, unless it's massive, but this one isn't. So I just go ahead and leave it. The next what thing you're gonna do is again, hit Windows R. And instead of typing temp, you're gonna type the percent sign, then temp, then percent. Then hit okay. This is gonna take you to a different temp folder, but as you see, there's a lot more files in this folder. So again, you're gonna hit control A and you're gonna delete Move 91 items to your recycling bin, yes. And then you can also do this option, make sure this box is checked, and you can hit continue if it'll allow you to continue on certain items. If some items just won't delete, if that continue option isn't there, just go ahead and check mark it and hit skip. And these are the only files that are left out of the 91 that were there. Next, Windows R again, percent, app data percent, hit okay. An app data is essentially a temporary files, but this specific to apps. So you can do this exact same thing. For instance, if I clicked on AMD, it's just cache. And I don't need cache data, right? So just to ensure I'm back there, app data percent, gonna select everything, delete. Yes, I wanna move these 34 items. It ends up being a lot more because it's roaming data. Especially if you do a lot of editing or anything like that, you're gonna have a lot of old roaming data. Do this for all items, skip. That covers the run command. The next method is gonna be going into File Explorer and searching a drive by file size. So what actually you're gonna do is go into File Explorer 
And once in File Explorer, go ahead and click on any drive that you want to check um, the size of files for. So again, for this instance, I'm going to click on my C drive. Here in the search bar, you're going to type in size and then colon, then hit enter. After you do that, the search tools dialog box should pop up up here. And then you should have this option right here that says size. You can hit this drop down and then actually search for files within a certain file range. So for me specifically, I'm going to see if there's any files that are greater than four gigabytes. So you're going to click on this. It's going to take a second to run. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to when it searches for all the results. All right, it's finished running. And as you see, for me specifically on this drive, no items match your search. If you did have items that match your search of four gigabytes or greater, they'd pop up right here. And then I just go ahead and do this for pretty much gigantic and then huge and large. I don't really mess with anything down here, but you definitely can if you want to get a deep clean of your drive. All right, this next method is something that you can do if you absolutely need to clear up a lot of space on your drive. So what you can actually do is go to the search bar and type in command prompt, right click it and hit run as administrator, and then hit yes. After you hit yes and the command prompt pops up, what you actually want to type in here, I'm going to copy and paste it because I have it. What you actually want to type in here is power CFG space forward slash hibernate space off and then hit enter. All right, it did work. It's not going to say anything, but essentially what this is doing is it's disabling the hibernate mode on your PC. Hibernate is different than sleep. Essentially what hibernate is doing is it's powering off your PC, but not actually powering off. It's saving instances of apps and things where you had them open before so that your PC can boot up quicker the next time. I personally don't think I've ever used this before. So I normally just turn it off by doing this in the command prompt. And by turning this off, you actually end up saving quite a few gigabytes of storage. So again, if you absolutely need to save some space, this is a way to do it. All right, guys, this very last method is going to be using an application called Winderstat. Um, I'll leave a link to it down in the description, but essentially it's just a utility that you can download that will show you um, via heat maps and different diagrams what's taking up the most space on your hard drive. So go ahead and pause the video and download it and then restart it once you have it downloaded. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Winderstat. Once you open it up, it's immediately going to show you that you your three drives, what percent allocated they are, and etc. cetera. So what you're going to do is we're going to click on the drive that you want to analyze essentially. For me, that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and do the HDD drive since I haven't done that yet in this video. So hit the HDD, hit OK. And this is going to take a second to run, but you're going to see these little Pac-Man figures going back and forth, analyzing all the data in your drive. Um, it's going to freeze here and there, but it is going to get there. And at the very end of it, you're going to end up seeing this screen. And it can be very overwhelming at first, I understand, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, what you're going to see here is a hierarchy of all the folders and things which in your drive. And then these colors actually denote the type of extension that that is. So for example, MP4 is green. And if you click on that, this GUI or GUI interface will actually filter the data to show you what that is. So if you hit MP4 video, every one of these green, green blocks is an MP4 video and they take up 17.5 gigs on my drive. Same thing with system files and Stark Pack. They take up a lot of space. I will say with Winderstat, do be careful. Only delete something if you're absolutely certain of what it is. This is why I normally try to preach about it's important to have your file saved in a certain location so you know what stuff is whenever you're trying to delete it. So, for example, over here in this hierarchy on the left, I've named the folder games. So I know that the only thing in here is games, right? So if I expand upon that, I can see that Call of Duty Warzone is 136 gigabytes of the 212 in my gaming folder. So if I wanted to, I could literally just right click Warzone and hit delete, no way to undelete or delete it to the recycling bin and it would clear that allocation. So pretty much the idea of this is just to look through your various folders or look through the various extensions right click and delete things. It just gives you a visual representation of what's in that drive. Very powerful tool and I like it a lot. Again though, a big disclaimer, please be careful about what you're deleting. Kind of a rule of thumb is never delete any system files. Um, try to search for games and MP4s or music, MP3s, etc. I've noticed some friends that I've had, they've actually had hundreds of gigabytes of old videos or old music, things of that nature. So just look for that, but again, just be careful.
All right, guys, and that's going to end the video. You now know several methods that you can take, several paths that you can take to clear up a lot of space on any drive that's in your computer. Again, if this video helped you out in any sort of capacity, please consider leaving a like, comment down below if you have any questions, as well as subscribe. It helps me out a lot. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks again. Much appreciated. Hope you have a great day. Peace.